So they're all posing for their picture. <laughs> as, soon as, I, as soon as I brought the camera up, they all came up to, to see what I was doing. <laughs> so these are the little guys we incubated the other day. Well, I guess it's been, what, a little over a week now, maybe? I don't know. And we got the 15, and then we also got the uh, Brahmas. You can still see the green mark on his head. They put a marker on his head. So we got five Brahma hens. There's one. And two roosters. Both of the roosters have green marks. So if you see a green mark, there's one over here. And then one getting a drink of water. I don't know why they think I'm going to give them food. Carolyn gives them a little bit of ham. They get all excited about the ham. So we used an incubator. And I wanted to tell you, YouTube has given me a little new feature down here at the bottom. You have to hit the screen and it says product list or something like that. And you click that list, I can select a bunch of different products that I've mentioned in the video or that I use or whatever. It's really cool. And so if you wanted to buy the product that I own and I put it in the list, each video may have different products. So anyway, I'm gonna put that incubator in that list so you just click that little and you'll see i marked an arrow which whatever way it goes and you just hit the screen that little says a uh, product list comes up click the product list and uh the computer works a little bit different than the phone but you'll find it it's no big deal last few videos i've put a generator on it and the solar panels and just different things so if you'll check that out that'll give you a, a list of things that you can buy that I own or at least close to so that incubator is what we used for incubating these chickens and we've uh, we got 15 out of 22 it holds 22 that is one of the best incubators I've ever seen now I just said that we got 15 out of 22 all the reviews on Amazon this is an Amazon that you're looking at now you can buy that from different markets you go to that list you click it you can buy it from Walmart, a track supply store, or from the company that actually makes them. And they're different prices and different shipping prices. But I, I really like that incubator a lot better than the ones I've used in the past. It rotates on its own uh, every few hours. It controls the heat just perfectly. Now we had to put these here, the little cardboard. That's where their food is. And they kept dumping the food out on the floor. She put that there to keep that food in. And we clean the cage about every other day now. It gets pretty crumbed up pretty quick. But they dump all the food out on the floor, or you know, of their cage. You'll see here that we used the bags that the food comes in and laid a little liner down there. What we do is we can just scrape out the straw. We use straw. You're supposed to use pine chips, but the straw works pretty good, we've noticed. And we just scrape out the straw, take it down to the compost. Well, all that food lays right there. You can see oh, that food is laying right there. They'll eat all that up before you lay more straw down. Or you can sweep it up and put it back in their food bowl. That way you're not wasting food. The biggest usage of food is that they waste it. When you're raising little chicks, man, they waste a lot of food. I mean, just a ton of food. We had two chicks use a half a bag of food, and they were just dumping it everywhere. So Carolyn came up with this method to, to catch the food so we can reuse it. I don't know how well this is going to show up in the camera, but while I'm looking at that list, this is the Berkey we use. You'll see that in that list also. I got the two filters and the Berkey in that list. Now, the Berkey comes with filters, but I also put extra filters uh, in the list in case you want to make your own Berkey. I've showed you in the past how to make a Berkey using a couple buckets, so I just thought I'd show it to you. Ours is well used. You might be able to see the dent down here. we got a dent. I've had to replace the nozzle. <laughs> But the filters, this is the first time we've had filters that lasted more than a year. When we were nomads, we'd go through filters fast, but we were just using some terrible water. But now we're using well water. I think we're on our third year on the Birkin filters now. They're supposed to last six years. It just won't stop raining. It just rains and rains and rains and rains. This is supposed to be the last day of rain. Boy, it sure is getting old quick. So... You'll know that I got some chicks in here. They're hiding right now. They keep running back and forth. I take go to one side to show you and then they go to the other side. But anyway, they're, I don't know, a couple months old. And these were the chicks that we had a hen roost on for 21 days. They hatched. We put 10 eggs out. We've, we got two out of that. 
they're getting pretty big now but they're not big enough to deal with the big roost ch hens the buff orpingtons are, are probably the meanest the buff orpington being the light brown one there not these that one they peck them on the head pretty good so they got to be able to defend themselves before i can mix them in with the rest of the flock hopefully when we bring those little ones down in a couple weeks few weeks that the medium-sized ones the adolescent ones that are in there right now hopefully the adolescent ones won't pick on them what we're going to do is we're going to bring them down i've showed you the ibc tank that we're going to use as a chicken coop and so we'll put all the little ones that are in the house right now in the chi in the ibc tank make it theirs and then we're going to let the two little guys out here out so here's the ibc tank i showed you that the other day it's still there's some epoxy in there it's still hardening so we're going to let that harden up before we do anything with it then we'll let these two guys girls out hopefully the little chickens will have the dominance then it'll be theirs and the two little ones here will come into it and say oh this is your home can i share it with you that's what we're hoping for we did that last year we had all the americanas and we had the rhode islands the rhode islands were older than the americanas i said rhode islands it's new hampshire's the new hampshire's never picked on them it was very nice to them actually and so we're hoping that'll happen this year because i really like to get these two out of that little cage there but yesterday one of them got out i came down to close up the chicken coop and feed them and water them and all that and she come running and nearly just jumped in my arms i mean she didn't want anything to do with being out so i i would imagine the buff was pretty mean to her i don't know when she got out i didn't come down what maybe once yesterday i didn't see her then so i felt bad for her but she's okay she was a little muddy no worse for wear i didn't see any damage to her so they didn't hurt her now the other day i told you that we had an egg that didn't have a shell on it it was just a membrane very soft and what that is is it's a lack of calcium carolyn's been bringing down some mesh the nice thing about the mesh is the chicken digestive system absorbs this fermented food better than regular food and so it saves on money the problem with the fermented food that she does it doesn't have any calcium in it the food that we buy from the store has calcium we assumed that they were still getting enough calcium but apparently not now one of the chickens have been eating eggs now we've, we've caught her eating eggs so i'm coming down several times a day now to get eggs so they don't eat the eggs We've been giving them calcium supplement to let them catch back up on their calcium levels. Now, everybody said, feed them eggshells, feed them eggshells, feed them eggshells. And that is true. There are two types of calcium. If you get them oyster shells, oyster shells have a slow release so they can eat the oyster shell, which is what we give them. It's $8 a bag and you give them a handful and at night when their body is making an egg it uses that calcium from the oyster shell that they ate earlier in the day the problem with eggshells is it's a quick release calcium and so if they eat it at the beginning of the day they may not have any calcium left over for when their body is making eggs so a lot of people said use eggshells and i don't disagree carolyn grinding them up right now she grinds them up all the time i just don't mention them because it's not the most efficient way to do it now the problem with calcium especially the oyster shells is you can overdose a chicken on calcium somebody said put the calcium in their food you shouldn't do that you shouldn't force feed calcium they should be able to eat the calcium on their own the oyster shells whenever they want it so just like now the chicken is eating the eggs she's eating what she wants i don't want her eating the eggs but that's what she's doing she's going in there i need calcium so she goes and eats an egg for calcium now the other thing about egg shells is if you can get them to eat the egg shells right before they go to bed then they can use that calcium in the egg shells while their body is making a new egg so carolyn is now going to bring the fermented food down in the evening time five six seven o'clock 
with eggshells in it and then they'll be able to use that calcium we're also going to put the oyster out and let them eat that on their own whatever they want to eat it they can eat it i've been giving them a couple of handfuls now that they're kind of deficient on calcium and they've been eating quite a bit of it now the other thing is is i think i mentioned this already you want to make sure that when they start eating eggs like that that you come down several times a day to collect eggs don't give them a chance to eat the eggs this is what we've been feeding them oyster shells and if i if that's in the list i'll put that in the list down there also but you can use that oyster shell so is it cheaper for them to eat the eggs or to go and buy the oyster shell we bought that off amazon for eight dollars and we've had this forever well well over a year so i don't think the eight dollars is that much money considering the amount of eggs we're losing because when we go to the grocery store and we got to buy food remember eggs pretty much is all the food we eat anymore but you can buy a pound of hamburger for you know, what three bucks and so you're starting to lose money at the grocery store versus this eight dollars that lasts forever so i think the eggs cost us eating the eggs is more beneficial than giving them the calcium oyster shells and the oyster shell is more efficient like i said now i'm also going to put like the solar panels the Renogy solar panels in that list i'm going to put the uh, a buddy heater and the generators if you want to see something else in that list let me know so anyway check that list out i appreciate it so i hope i can inspire you to enjoy your so i hope i can inspire you so i hope i can inspire you to enjoy your dream. Thanks for watching.